Southern California at Disneyland. Hello, good morning, Totec. I gave a quick little look at the Grand Californian Hotel this morning. This is a uh, exquisite we made building in the arts and crafts style. If you know anything about the arts and crafts style, it is a movement from 18, 1880 to 1910. And the arts and crafts movement was developed because the society was starting to do mass production of buildings and art. It was kind of a rebellion against that kind of move or that kind of process. So the arts and crafts movement started um, with making more um, individual art and architecture. Started in England and came here to California. So this building here is done in the arts and crafts style. I take you into the lobby, which is uh, really exquisite. It's really early in the morning, so nobody's really here yet. So that's why all these guys are waiting for people to arrive from the airport, the John Wayne Airport, or wherever. Some people are coming in. I'm at, go back to this, it's easier for me to do. So you'll see all this individual artwork everywhere. So this is the, the front, I'm gonna show you these doors. This is a very expensive place. My wife, Leslie, has very expensive tastes. But look at these doors, the stained glass. It's just gorgeous. So we have a standard room here, and my wife won't tell me how much it is. But I bet you it's over 400 a night. Which, anyway, for people just joining, this is the, the entry. This is the arts and crafts style. So this is uh, individually made door, stained glass. It just opens and closes as people come in, so we're going to go in. But, you know, they, they do the lamps. Everything in here is individually made. That's what the arts and crafts movement is all about, it's fine arts. If you want to see, if you come to um, Southern California, if you go to Pasadena, there's a place called the Gamble House, the most beautiful arts and crafts home you'll ever want to see. And the whole neighborhood is arts and crafts. You take a tour of it. And if you ever come to Southern California into that kind of architecture and art, fine art, go to the Gamble House in Pasadena. If you come to the Bay Area, we have two architects, uh, Bernard Maybeck, who taught at UC Berkeley, and Julia Morgan. And their influence, especially in East Bay and Berkeley, there's many, many uh, arts and crafts homes there, which are just beautiful. So this is the main lobby. I'll take you to the fireplace in a second. It's just gorgeous. But you can see everything here is just a, a beautiful style of architecture. The, the lamps, the furniture, the carpeting, the floor, the tiled floors. So let's, let's pretend we're, we're checking in. So here's the main registration. You got the little ceramic arts on the counter. The bellhop takes your stuff, you register, takes your luggage. I kind of got up early this morning, so I actually had time to scope this before anybody is here. Who's this? Hi, Nick. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, um, Koli, Koloa, that's right. Hawaiian, as I remember. Hi. So and even the tapestries here are unique. So arts and crafts movement was into, yeah, Disneyland. It was in a rebellion against uh, the mass production of goods, including architecture. So this is an arts and crafts style, this whole hotel. It's just gorgeous. And what's interesting about it, it looks like it's all in wood, which is really traditional for arts and crafts. But they couldn't do this big old thing. So all these beams, even when you're in the main lobby, 
All these old beams. Where did it get the load? These are oxy cement beams. Everything else is wood except for all the structured beams, and then they encase them in uh, material that looks like real wood. So it really looks like wood. It's kind of cool. So I was doing a uh, scope yesterday on the monorail, and I mentioned that people can come here. They don't ask you for a room key when you come here. You come in here, and you can hang out when you're tired and just want to relax right here by the fire, which is really cool. You can just get one of these chairs, pull up a chair, and you can actually take a nap if you're lucky, which if you're here all day, you're going to take a nap. So it's really a cool place just to hang out. A little tidbit from Nick uh, coming to Disneyland and he's taking a break. Come to the Grand California. Nobody will ever know. And actually, if you get on the fifth floor, take the elevator up, and you can get up. There's a plaza here that overlooks the pool and the California Adventure. And you can, there's tables, you can have lunch up there, have a snack. And again, you don't even have to really be a, staying here. I can show the lounge. The lounge is so cool. I came here the other night and just had a snack and a, and a hard cider. This is very arts and crafts. Nobody's here yet. It's still too early in the morning. What I like about this place, um, this lounge, I mean, here, you know, there's hidden Mickeys everywhere in Disneyland. That's what I like about Disneyland. Look all over for hidden Mickeys. But in the old days, women weren't allowed. You know, during the arts and crafts, 1890 to 1910, the, the women weren't really allowed in bars. So this is kind of, this place is rebellion against that. And so all the paintings in here are women and it's kind of a way to say you're welcome to come in I show you the little fireplace you can come in here and have a drink it's pretty cool see women we took a tour of this a few years back. California Grand Hire. Oh, hotel, I see, yeah, yeah. Spell check. Yep, that's what it is, Grand California Hotel. Just give me a quick bird's eye view and then uh, I'll be heading over to the park. We've been here for three days, and it's been pretty crowded. Not too crowded, pretty crowded, but today, everybody's gone home. It's going to be nice. I can't wait. Oh, and by the way, I was going to mention the, um, it's the 60th anniversary of Disneyland. If you can believe that. I can't believe it. 60 years old, and they're doing the whole thing. It's diamond anniversary. So they got these little Disney diamonds everywhere. And in the evening, you can listen to the guy play the piano in his tux. That's how grand it is. Leslie loves this stuff. Me, I could stay at Motel 6. But again, I'll tell you, show you a grotesque or grotesque. I can't remember what, what it is, but these, these things are very unique for that time period. They're all original. And they pretty much were jars for cigars. There's another one over here. I'll show you. Pretty interesting. Yeah, I wish I could play the piano, but you know what? It's playing by itself, so we don't have to worry about it. <laughs> okay, that's quick. quick little tour. I might... Uh, I did two scopes yesterday, if you didn't see them. One is a secret spot at uh, Splash Mountain, which got a lot of people watching. People love the secret spots. When I did the secret spot at the Grand Canyon. I actually got featured by uh, Periscope, and people were really into that. Uh, and then I did the monorail ride from the back car, which was kind of cool. Maybe a little too long, but you can go through it as quickly as you want. 
Yeah, you know, that's what's nice about it. You can feel like you're up in the mountains someplace. You don't feel like you're at Disneyland. That's what's cool about this place. You just walk in the doors and you're not in Disneyland anymore, except for the big D up there and the hidden Mickeys everywhere. Hey, you, hey you're welcome. Thank you for watching. And I will be seeing you guys next time. So thanks uh, for watching. And